the Texas Bowl. This is the Academy Sports and Outdoors Texas Bowl. You've got Oklahoma State and Texas A&M. Pretty good coaching matchup here. Mike Gundy against Jimbo Fisher. This is 5.45 p.m. on ESPN. It's in Houston, Texas. Uh, big question for this, is Chuba Hubbard going to play in the game? Yeah, don't know the answer. We don't know the answer to that yet. We're recording this on Tuesday, December 17th. We're assuming he is, right? Yeah, we're assuming we're gonna, that we're he gonna, is. We're going to factor everything in as if he's we, there. Yeah, we will assume that he is. Um, Texas A&M defensive lineman uh, Justin Matabuki is not playing. And, of course, Oklahoma State without Spencer Sanders, without Tylen Wallace. That's a little bit of a problem. We saw the last couple of games without those guys. They could not score. Yeah, they, they, Chuba can't do everything. Chuba was able to, like, it. they put up 20 on West Virginia, yeah. who, let's just be honest, has not been great this year. Um, And they put up 16 on Oklahoma, Correct. who who had a good defense this year, but okay. people have still been able to, they've been able to score on them, and they've been able to run on them. Yeah. But if running is the only thing that you can do. When you become one-dimensional, it's just, it's it's harder to do it. Texas A&M, I mean, their losses this year, all completely forgivable. All were uh, yeah. relatively competitive what other than the, the LSU What is the record game. of the teams that beat them? Um, let's see. Alabama's got two losses. Uh, Auburn's got LSU three. Zero. And who else did they Georgia do? has two. Two. So two. two. Six. So seven losses seven. total because Auburn has three losses. That's right. So, three. Uh, yeah, seven losses and we'll say 50 and seven. Which hey, fifty to seven, right? The, the last score. <laughs> so did there. I like that. That was that was good. I was trying little, to help you out there. A little pandering, I'll take it. Hey, I'll I appreciate it. that. He knows his um, audience. If you if you look at the analytics here, so the line is Texas A and M minus seven, and the total is fifty four currently. It opened at A and M minus four and a half, and Oklahoma State 52. Uh, and and fifty two. Yeah. Um, I so my initial instinct was, and seven points, way too many here. But when I go through and I'm I'm looking at the stats and whatnot, and I realize that the stats were the stats with, are going to lie. Yeah, I think Texas A and M needs this game. I think they're playing in Houston. They will have a massive crowd advantage. Oh, no doubt. Massive. No doubt. I'm going A&M minus seven. I'm going over the 54. Uh, I think A&M puts a lot of points on the board here. So I think so, too. And I want to call out all the bowl people for being cowards. Just complete cowards. This is the Texas Bowl. You got the perfect opportunity. Both teams are seven and five. You play Texas. You play Texas A&M. And you tell the athletic directors, get your head out of your ass. Get your butt down to Houston. <laughs> we're going to split this thing 50-50 down the field, and we're going to have fun. I, I thought that would have been great. A perfect game. You want to talk about a bowl game that will sell the hell out. Oh, yeah. And instead, Texas gets the uh, the Alamo we, Bowl. We get, we get a beat-up and broken-down Oklahoma State team. Congratulations. You did a fantastic job, guys. Yeah. You suck at your job. Yeah. <laughs> 